Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Kira Tofu here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Grumman C2 Greyhound. The Grumman C2 Greyhound is a twin-engine, high-wing cargo aircraft designed to carry supplies, mail, and passengers to and from aircraft carriers of the United States Navy. Its primary mission is carrier onboard delivery, or simply known as COD. The first prototypes flew in 1964, and the production followed the next year. The initial Greyhound aircraft were overhauled in 1973, and in 1984, more C2As were ordered under the designation Reapercurred C2A or C2AR. In 2010, all remaining C2s uh, were received updated propellers from 48 blades and navigational updates with a glass cockpit. The U.S. Navy is to start replacing the remaining 27 C2As with 38 CMV 22Bs in 2020 with full filling in 2028. So kind of sad to see, but the Grumman C2 Greyhound is pretty much on its way out and basically being retired at this very moment. Um, it's being replaced by obviously a more capable and more versatile aircraft, the V-22 Osprey. And if you think about it, it makes a little bit more sense because it has better, um, better accessibility. Um, the thing about the Greyhound is it's very confined to uh, only being able to operate on carriers and can't perform uh, logistical duties on amphibious ships or the smaller littoral ships or the destroyers when a V-22 Osprey um, can easily uh, do the same kind of supply missions and give them that and just kind of helps streamline the process. So it makes a lot of sense why this is out the door, but still a really cool aircraft and um, just really kind of iconic due to its really interesting setup for its horizontal and vertical stabilizers. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and jump into this. Now this uh, tutorial will include both the landed and in-flight models. So for those of you guys that do like to have the aircraft landed, uh, you will be able to have that in this tutorial as well, as you can see on the bottom here. Um, so pretty cool design there, pretty straightforward. Uh, landing your really simple, nothing too crazy for it. So we have the cockpit. This is also done up in the white and gray color scheme, which seems to be the same standard color for the Greyhounds um, all together. We also have the squadron logo on the side here, right behind the cockpit, as well as on the tail here. And this is based off of the Fleet Logistics Support Squadron VRC-40 Rawhides, which seem to be kind of the primary operator uh, of this aircraft that supplies um, the um, the fleets. So pretty cool stuff there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the same on both sides here. Really nothing too crazy. We have the cables that run back to the, to the uh, tail there, your wings, um, which came out really cool. Uh, then we have the fuselage of the aircraft, uh, really kind of straightforward. It's just a basically a cargo aircraft, so nothing too crazy here. And we just have the back of the aircraft here. So, and your really weird vertical stabilizer. So overall, really happy the way this build came out. Should make an awesome addition to any of your worlds if you're looking for a cool kind of Navy uh, logistics aircraft. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Moving into our uh, tutorial, we have our first layer we start with which is layer one before we go ahead and jump into it a few things i do want to mention real quick is if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials the way i like to charge these tutorials i like to do half on camera half off what this means i'm building the entire star line of the build on camera and then i'll be building the right side it'll be up to you guys to take the right side and copy it over to the left side it's pretty straightforward and just kind of helps speed up the build process a little bit for me at least and the uh aircraft is completely symmetrical so what we do on one side will be the same on the other um, so with that, again, if you want to build this aircraft landed, you will need to make sure that you start layer one here, one block up from the ground level. The aircraft will be built as if it's in flight and they will be adding the linger on at the end as a modification to the build. So just keep that in mind if you are wanting to build this landed to make sure you have this one block up from the ground level to position it properly. Now to go ahead and get started with this, we're going to go ahead and be placing down a row of smooth quartz. This here is going to be a row of five. So this can be kind of our starting row here. For this, we're going to place down an upside down piston. This piston can be substituted for a quartz upside down stair. Again, anytime I say quartz, I do mean smooth quartz. Um, so it will be an upside down stair as an alternative rather than a piston. We're going to go ahead and place down a top slab and then a iron trap door coming off that going forward like so. Going back from that, we're going to place down a red concrete block. And then we want to go ahead and take our smooth quartz and again place down a long row going down the center here for a total of 16 full blocks and then a quartz top slab on the very end there. We're gonna place down the top slab of the side of this one and then go forward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 quartz blocks, red concrete, and 1, 2, 3, 4 smooth quartz, 
and then we're going to place down an upside down piston like so. Again, for my Java players, a substitute for this will be a coarse upside down stair like we did before, and then a quartz top slab and a iron trap door. After that, we're going to go ahead and go off the side here of the piston. We're going to place down a skeleton skull, and we then want to go ahead and place down a quartz top slab on the side of this block, and one, two, three quartz stairs back, another brick upside down stair, and one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Course ups down stairs, and then a iron trap door on the end here like that. And that is going to form up the uh, right side here, and that is all we have for layer one of the build. So pretty straightforward stuff is what it's gonna look like from the top down view. And once you have that all done right there, that is going to include layer one, and we'll move on up to layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to start with, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block on top of this iron trap door here in the front, and then a polished black stone stair coming off of it uh, to go ahead and begin our front. So that's going to be it for the front row. And then going to the back of the aircraft here, we're going to place down a quartz, smooth quartz full block that's going to go off this quartz top slab in the center, kind of go up at an angle like this, and then a quartz top slab coming off of that. After that's done, we're going to place down a top slab coming off that, uh, top slab there, and then a quartz full block like so. We're going to go and then place down a quartz up sound stair here at the side, and then a iron trap door here. And then we're going to place down a stone block in this corner like this. Now, coming off this stone block, we're going to go ahead and continue with our stone blocks one, two, three, four, five, six forward. For the US Navy writing, we're going to place down two core ore blocks, a stone um, block, and then one, two, three, four, five more stone, or er, these uh, core blocks. And on the side of these blocks, we're going to go and grab some buttons. We're going to place down a button here on this block, this stone block, and then two buttons of polished black stone right there. So pretty straightforward. Two more stone blocks, red concrete, one, two, three stone blocks, and then a stone stair. Coming off the face of the stone stair, we're going to place down an iron trap door. And we can use our debug stick. Debug stick can be obtained by typing the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command right here. And pressing enter on Java will get you this glowing stick. What you can do is you can left click this trap door to get selected open false. Right click it, set it to true, and it will actually close the trap door for us. If uh, you are on a version that does not have a debug stick, so anything other than Java, then I would recommend using a Birchwood trap door as an alternative. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone block on top of that piston or that upside down stair, whichever you placed. And then we're going to place down one and two more stone blocks forward. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone upside down stair like so. Once we have uh, that complete, on the side here, we're going to go ahead and place down a andesite wall, and then we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes going forward from that andesite wall, and that is going to complete our fuselage. With that complete, we're going to go ahead and then work our way out to the side here. We're going to go ahead and go to the second stone block, so after our red concrete line here, we're going to go ahead and go to the second stone block back, we're going to build three blocks out from it, so one, two, three, and then we're going to place down a quartz top slab. So we have a quartz top slab like so, and then an iron trap door going forward from it. We then want to go ahead and grab our pistons. We're going to place down a upside down piston here. And then we're going to place down two smooth quartz blocks. And then we're going to place down two more upside down pistons. After that's all done, uh, on the very back here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a deep slate brick slab. We're going to place it down right here. And after we have that done, we want to go ahead and then grab skeleton skulls and place down skeleton skulls here on the sides of the pistons. And real quick, just an alternative for you guys that, uh, again, aren't on Java. I would recommend instead of the piston here in the front, I would probably put down a quartz upside down stair. So again, for reference here, I would do an upside down stair like that. On the back here, I would probably do a full block and then another upside down stair. So again, some alternatives there for you. After that is all done there, we want to go ahead and then take our skeleton skulls and continue them on the side here of the pistons um, or the blocks that are right there and try not to break your deep slate brick slab. And then we're gonna go ahead and place down, uh, obviously on the side of this piston here or the upside down stair, whichever you have there. And then on these two full blocks, uh, we're gonna place down our glass panes. So we have two white stainless panes on the sides there like so. We then delete these blocks like that. And that right there is gonna pretty much wrap up what we have for layer two. Here is a top down view of what it looks like. And that is um, going to wrap up what we have for this layer. Let's move on to layer number three. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to start with, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair on top of this stair here. 
a stone block behind it, and then three black concrete blocks. This is going to kind of fill in your interior space if you want to leave an interior space open um, to build a cockpit. You're more than welcome to, just unfortunately you don't really have a lot of space. So for me, I just went ahead and filled this in since uh, we will not be doing interior, so I just have three black concrete blocks. Um, anyways though, that's it for the front center line. On the back here, we're just going to go ahead and go up from that top slab there in the middle, a quartz full block, an angle back, and then a top slab. So just like we did before. Um, we're going to go ahead and go off this top slab, place down one more. One more full block here, a quartz up sound stair here, and then a iron trap door in this spot here. We're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks. We're going to go one, two, three, four stone blocks forward. And on these two stone blocks here, we're going to place down iron trap doors and then close them with our debug stick, just like that. So uh, basically, you're going to have those trap doors on the side of there. Again, those can be substituted for birchwood trap doors. After that, we're going to go ahead and take our andesite walls. We're going to go one, two, three, four forward. Then we're going to place down a nether brick wall, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inside walls forward, a red nether brick wall, and then one, two, three, four inside walls forward from that. Um, after we have that done, we're going to go and take our stone blocks, and we're going to go ahead and place down stone blocks behind each one of these andesite walls. Behind the nether brick wall, we're going to place down black concrete, and behind the red nether brick wall, we're going to place down red concrete. So you have black concrete here, red concrete there, and then again our stone blocks filling the space in right here. Now after that is all done, going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a black concrete block here, two stone blocks forward, and then a stone stair here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a iron trap door on the side of this block. Again, close it using the debug stick. Again, use a virtual trap door as an alternative, and we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes back from that. A little detail you can do if you're on Java is going to be the addition of a triple hook coming off this glass pane. To do this, we're going to build a block, two blocks out to the side of this glass pane, delete that first block, and we're going to go ahead and place down a triple hook on the side of the block. We'll left click it with our debug stick till we get selected facing, and we'll rotate this around till it comes off the glass pane. So it's going to look like that there. Um, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron frames, and we're going to need some red beds, some yellow beds, and if you're on Java, some birchwood signs. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of this wall and we're going to have a yellow bed that is going to be facing this way. So you're going to have it facing this way on this side and this way on that side. Actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be rotate like this. So you want the white of the bed to face down like this and you want the yellow to face up going like that. And that's going to be the same orientation on both sides. And then we're just going to place down a birchwood sign over it if you're on Java. On this wall right here before the red, you're going to place down another item frame. A red bed sideways with the pillow facing away from the nether brick and then a birchwood sign over it again for my java players so it's going to basically look something like that now once we have that done we're going to go ahead and then go to our engine here now our engine here we do have a bit of a wavy color scheme so the white kind of waves in with the gray so that's why we're going to be kind of doing a little bit of a mixed matched design here so um, that is the reason for that uh, but to get started here, we're going to go ahead and go on top of the two quartz blocks here. We're going to place down two more quartz blocks on top of those, then two direct walls to the sides. We then want to take our stone. We're going to place down a stone block forward, stone block back, and then a andesite wall on both sides of this stone block here. And then a light gray stainless pane on this end over here. After that, we're going to place down our smooth quartz block right here. And after that, we want to go ahead and place down a white stainless pane on both sides of this quartz block. Um, then on the back here, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some gray concrete and gray stained glass paint. So you're going to place down a gray concrete block on top of that slab, gray stained glass paint on both sides. And then for the back here, we're going to place down a black concrete block for the exhaust. We're also going to place down an item frame on these glass panes on both sides here. And we're going to place down a red bed in the item frame, rotated so the pillow is facing forwards. And this will be done on both sides. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a smooth quartz block here, a direct wall to both ends. And then we want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite stair and a skeleton skull on both sides of that stair. We'll also place down an item frame here on the side of these walls. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a white bed rotated so the pillow faces upwards into the corner. So it's going to be like that on both sides. And 
once you have that all done, that is going to conclude there, everything there is there for layer three in the engines. And here is a, or actually real quick before we do, uh, we do have the vertical stabilizer we need to touch on real quick too. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and go off the iron trap door here on the corner of the rear of the fuselage. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five out to the side and one back. So for this again, we're gonna go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, one back, and then one, two deep slate brick top slabs. So it's gonna basically look like that there uh, for both sides. And that'll be the tip there for our larger uh, vertical stabilizers on the end. Anyways though, that is going to conclude everything we have for layer three. Let's move on to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to begin with, we're gonna place down a polished black stone slab that's gonna go on top of the stone block here. Behind that, we're gonna place down a black uh, stained glass block and then two black concrete blocks like that after it to go ahead and create the um, the inside here. If you do wanna do an interior, I would recommend you know just placing down three black stained glass blocks there. But for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and close that off with black concrete. Now that's gonna do it for the front row. Going ahead and moving to the rear, we're gonna go ahead and go from the center block here, the center top slab, we're gonna go ahead and go up and, and angle and place down a smooth quartz block and a smooth quartz top slab directly behind it to go ahead and start forming the rear of the aircraft. Now, once uh, that is all done there, we're gonna go ahead and then go off this quartz top slab on the back with one more to the side and a quartz full block. We then wanna place down a smooth quartz upside down stair and one, two, three, four, five quartz full blocks. We're gonna take our iron trap doors, we're gonna place down one, two, three all on the side here, and we're gonna go ahead and then close them just like that. After that is all done, we're gonna go ahead and place down a quartz stair here, and we're gonna go ahead and take our glass white stained glass panes, we're gonna go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five forward. And then one, two, three, four, five, and six quartz full blocks behind, one also behind the stair. Then we're gonna take our smooth quartz uh, stairs. We're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven upside down stairs. Then we're gonna place down one, two, three white stained glass panes, and we're gonna go ahead and fill in the row behind the stairs and the panes with smooth quartz. We're gonna go then place down a red concrete block here, red stained glass pane here, and one, two, three quartz blocks, one, two, three white stained glass panes, a gl orange glazed terracotta block, a blue stained glass block, and then one and two black stained glass full blocks, a narrow brick wall here, and then on the side of these glass full blocks, we're gonna place down two glass panes. So just like that to go ahead and form up the uh, fuselage. Now at this point here, we are gonna be going ahead and starting to work into our wing section of the aircraft. So we have quite a bit going on here. Uh, but to get started with this, we're gonna take our stone top slabs, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four stone top slabs, a iron trap door, and then two dark oak trap doors. We're gonna go ahead and repeat the same row one more time. So again, four, uh, top slabs, iron trap door, and two dark oak with trap doors. After we have that all done there, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves a um, andesite wall. We're going to place down two andesite walls, coming off these two stone top slabs here, and then we're going to place down two more andesite walls forward, and then a light gray stainless pane on the tip there. Off the light gray stainless pane, we're going to place down a stone block here. One, two, three, four back, so you have a total of five. And then going forward, we're gonna go ahead and place down a black concrete block. And then we wanna place down a wither skeleton skull on the tip of that, so like so. Then on this side, we're gonna place down another glass pane and then another three walls back like so. So, yeah. And after you have that done, we're gonna go ahead and place down a stone block here. And we're gonna go ahead and then place down a piston directly after that. Again, the piston can be substituted for a stone stair instead. Um, on the inside here, we're gonna place down two stone top slabs, and we're gonna go ahead and then place down an iron trap door and two dark oak trap doors back from that. We're gonna go ahead and also place down a, a uh, deep slate brick slab on top of this gray concrete block, and then behind this, we're gonna place down two dark oak trap doors back like that. Once you have that done, you're gonna go ahead and place down a light gray stained glass pane here, and then taking your iron trap doors, we're gonna place down one and two back, and then we're gonna place down two dark oak trap doors after that. We're gonna go ahead and place down another row of iron trap doors. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, and then two dark oak trap doors after that. We're gonna go ahead and place down a row of six of iron trap doors. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have a row of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then a row of four. One, two, three, four, and then a row of three. 
So it's going to look like that there for your wings, and you do the same thing there on both sides. The very last thing we have to do here is go into our vertical stabilizers. We're going to place down a uh, two gray concrete blocks on top of these two blocks here, and a gray stainless pane going forward from it. With that all done, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number five of the build. And here is a top-down view, which I should say my bad, layer four. And here's a top-down view of what it should look like with that complete. Uh, the one last thing we do have to do here is on the side of the um, fuselage, we do have some markers here. And this is going to be simply done with a item frame on the side of this glass pane. A yellow bed that's going to be rotated so that the pillow is facing downwards into the back so it's kind of angled like this and then a birchwood side on the side of it so it'll be like that on both sides after that though that's going to do everything or complete everything we have there for layer number four and with that let's move on to layer number five moving into our next layer we have layer number five for layer five to go ahead and get started with we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this black stained glass block behind that we're going to place down a piston again the piston can be substituted for a quartz stair they're going to place down two quartz full blocks, then two more pistons. The pistons, again, you can do a quartz stair and a quartz slab as an alternative. We're going to go then place down a quartz slab after those two pistons, a quartz stair like so. And then we're going to place down a row of smooth quartz slabs going down the spine of the aircraft for a total of 18 blocks. We then want to place down a row of smooth quartz um, after those slabs for a total of six blocks, and then a smooth quartz top slab on the very end there. After that's all done, we're going to place down a smooth quartz up down stair, come off that block on the end, and we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five blocks forward, then a quartz slab, and then we're going to place down a daylight detector, come off this quartz slab to the side here, followed by a quartz slab, quartz stair, and then we're going to place down a row of direct walls, one, two, and a white stained glass pane like that. After that's done, we're going to take our daylight detectors, and we're going to run a row all the way along the side here of these smooth quartz slabs until we get to our pistons here, or this section here. We're, at this section, we're going to place down two smooth quartz slabs, a smooth quartz stair, another brick stair, and a smooth quartz slab. So it's going to basically form the fuselage like so. Now at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and now transition over into uh, our wings. So our wings here are going to start off by going ahead and placing down two daylight detectors and then we're going to place down one, two, three iron trapdoors back and two white carpets. Again, for these trapdoors, you will probably need to close them with a debug stick or substitute them for um, a different um, trapdoor, so birchwood or something like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down two more daylight detectors coming off this one here and we're going to leave these on the day mode and then we're going to place down two more here, but these are going to be turned into night mode, so you should be that bluish gray color. We're going to place down two more back here, this like on this way here, and doing the same thing, we're going to turn it into that bluish gray color. We have our two iron trap doors here, and uh, then another two, and then we're going to have one that's going to go back like this. On top of the dark oak with trap doors, we're just going to place down white carpet on these sections here. Now, after that is done, we're going to go ahead and then take our daylight detectors. We're going to place down a row of four, one, two, three, four, and these are going to be all turned to that night mode. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three of iron trapdoors back from that. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down one iron trapdoor here, and then one, two, three, four uh, of these daylight detectors forward. And again, we're going to turn these all to the night mode. And, or actually, sorry, the one on the back here is going to be on that day mode. Again, you'll have to manually close those trapdoors or substitute them. Um, but these uh, three, and then we're going to have four and five. Are going to be turned to the night mode like that. We're going to go ahead and then place down two stone slabs going forward. So one, two, and then an iron trap door on the very front there of your engine. Now once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab here and a second one over, and then a third one. So you have three, and then one back like that. We're going to take our daylight detectors, and we're going to go ahead and go back from these with one, two, three, four, five. Of these daylight detectors and these first three here are going to be turned to the night mode again close these trap doors on the bottom because they will open with those daylight detectors um then the next section here we're going to take our daylight detectors again we're going to place down three turn them to night mode and two more trap doors again close them like that uh, after we have that done uh we want to go ahead and then place down two daylight detectors again turn those to night mode and then two on day mode again close those trap doors underneath there now, once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and grab some polished blackstone uh, slabs. We're going to place down a polished blackstone slab here, a stone slab back from that, 
and we're going to go ahead and then place down our three daylight detectors. First two are going to be turned to the night mode, and then close that trapdoor in the back. Uh, once we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down another polished black stone slab, another two stone uh, slabs, and then we're going to place down two smooth quartz slabs back, like that. Or rather, actually, sorry, my bad, it's going to be like this, and then two daylight detectors uh, back. So it's going to look like that there for the wingtip. Then once we get to this uh, section here, we're going to go ahead and grab our pistons, and we're going to place down a piston on this iron trap door here. Then going back from that, we want to go ahead and place down one and two stone slabs, and then two smooth quartz slabs. Our next row is going to be the same thing. So we have a piston on the front here, then two stone slabs, and two quartz slabs back. Then after that, we're going to place down two pistons, so one, two, and then a total of two stone slabs, and then a smooth quartz slab. So again, it'll look like that. Um, then we want to place down a piston right here, two stone slabs, and a quartz slab. And then we want to place down another two pistons, an air stone slab, and an air quartz slab. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of pistons, so one, two, Three, and then a quartz slab on the back here. Now once you have that done, we also want to go ahead and grab some skeleton skulls and some uh, wither skeleton skulls. We're going to start off with two skeleton skulls, so one here, here, and we're also going to place down one here. So it's going to look something like that. Then after that is all done, we're going to take our wither skeleton skulls and we're going to place down one, two, three, and then a stone top slab here with a wither skeleton skull coming off it. So you should have a total of four of those across there. Now, after that is all done, we're gonna go ahead and then place down another stone top slab back, and then another quartz top slab. We then wanna place down a row of five polished black stone top slabs out. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll also go ahead and grab ourselves some acacia wood trap doors. We're gonna place down an acacia wood trap door on the very tip here. Now, once we have that complete, we're gonna go ahead and grab our iron trap doors, and we're gonna place down one, two, and then one, two, three, four stone top slabs over. And then on the back here, we're going to place down one, two quartz top slabs, and then we're going to place down four iron trap doors. So one, two, three, four. And after you have that all done there, uh, that is going to basically complete everything we have in there for the wings. Um, and again, here is a top down view of what it should look like so far. So just make sure all your um, daily detectors kind of line up in color wise and all that stuff, and that is what it should look like. Also on the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of gray concrete on top of these two blocks here and a deep slate uh, brick wall going forward from it. So it's going to look like that there. Um, anyways, though, that is pretty much it for that. And um, really uh, all we're going to do here next is for my Java players. So this next kind of part is for you. Uh, we will be going ahead and taking our debug stick and right clicking all of these pistons. So we will be going ahead and right clicking all these pistons um, and it will get rid of that wood portion. Uh, so it's really nice because it helps us with our shaping here for the fuselage and the wings and all that stuff. So we'll just be going ahead and taking that and applying it to um, all pistons that we place down. So the ones on the engines, the ones on the wings, and the ones on the fuselage, just make sure you get them all. And uh, also, might be a little bit uh, sneaky, but there is also a well, piston right here. So just make sure that you uh, go ahead and right click that as well. Um, now once you have that all done, also for my Java players with the debug stick, we can also go ahead and go to the stairs here. We can left click until we get selected shape, and we can actually change the shape of it. And I found that doing these corner stairs right here just kind of really vastly helps improve the front shape of the nose of the aircraft. And the same thing here can be done on the back here for these, these quartz corner stairs, or these quartz stairs right here. Again, we'll change the shape of them. But doing these corner stairs here, again, just really helps the shape of the, the build really come together and is something I would highly recommend again for my players that are on Java. So all those quartz stairs, we'll just go ahead and change the shape of them. And you can see it really kind of comes together and just kind of helps create a nice uh, flow shape-wise on the side of the aircraft. Um, anyways, that's about it for my Java players. Um, everybody else, one quick thing too, on the front nose of the aircraft, we also want to go ahead and place down two wither skeleton schools on the side of these stairs here. Um, it was my my mistake, I missed those, and again, if you did already change these stone stairs, you will need to change them again um, because the block space got updated next to them. But that right there is basically um, all we should have there for 
um, layer five. And uh, with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number six. All right, guys, so moved into layer six here of the build. Um, we're going to be going ahead and first starting off with covering something I forgot to do in layer five. Layer five here, I did forget to go ahead and throw on three signs here of dark oak wood on these pistons. So just make sure that gets transferred over and do be sure to adjust your pistons if they do um, revert back. But basically, it should look something that looks like that there. Um, again, an alternative here to the pistons for the wings. I probably should have mentioned the previous layer, but I honestly completely forgot. But basically, stone slabs or something like that would be a good alternative. Unfortunately, there just really isn't a uh, perfect one for that. But you have to make do with what you um, what you got. So that right there is going to complete that. Now, let's go ahead and get started with this layer. So to start with, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this block and then an iron trap or an iron end rod going forward from it. So it's going to look like that there. Then we're going to place down another brick fence post on top of the stair. We're going to go back from the fence post with two barrier blocks or structure blocks or void blocks, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to place down two stone buttons. We're going to go get off these stone buttons with one, two, three barrier blocks and a stone button on the side of this first one. And then we're going to go off this barrier block here, one and two out to the side. And then delete that first one. So it looks like that there for your setup for your cabling so far. And we'll build upon that in the next few layers. After that, going ahead and going to the rear of the aircraft, we're going to go ahead and go to the second smooth quartz block here. We're going to place down a quartz slab, then four quartz full blocks back, and an air quartz slab. We then want to place down a skeleton skull at a 45 degree angle there in the corner, a quartz slab forward, and then one, two, three quartz stairs, and a quartz slab. After that, we're going to take our iron trap doors. We're going to place down one, two, three, and four. They're going to come off this center stair right here, and actually it's going to be five. So a total of five coming off that center stair. And then we're going to place down five coming off this stair. And then coming off this slab, we're going to place down five as well. So it's going to look like that. We then want to place down two gray concrete blocks, like or sorry, three gray concrete blocks across like that for your vertical stabilizer. After that's done, going ahead and moving into the wings um, for these. Uh, it's going to kind of vary a little bit depending on um, what side you're on. So to kind of begin with, uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of do both wings in general. Are going to be done with a acacia wood trap door on top of that one. And then we're going to place down two dark oak wood trap doors over. So it's going to look like that. We then want to place down an iron trap door back here. And then white carpet all the way across those trap doors there. And then a stone pressure plate on top of that iron trap door there, there or you could use like gray carpet as well as an alternative. Now, I would recommend going ahead and doing that to both wings and making sure both wings are squared away. And we're going to go ahead and talk about the differences here. So take a moment, make sure both wings look like that on the tip there, and we'll go ahead and talk about the differences. Now this here is the only differences you're going to experience here on the, the wings. Um, it's going to be on the right side, we're going to do a row of three of black uh, black carpet. And on the other side here, we're going to go ahead and do a item frame. And we have this banner. It's a white banner with red stripes. So you're just going to really just put a white banner in a loom and you're going to go ahead and take the red dye, put it in there and do the stripe pattern. So it's going to look like this here, really straightforward stuff. And you're going to go ahead and place this in an item frame and rotate it. So it faces like this. And then you're going to place down blue carpet and do the same thing. The item frame, rotate the banner around to face toward that to go ahead and create that star insignia on the side of the, on the top of the wing. So do that on the, le on the left side and the black will be on the right side. So a reach Navy. And then you have your star insignia on the left side. Now, once that's all complete there, um, that is pretty much it for this layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go. We'll also take the time now to go ahead and do our propellers. So our propellers here for the um, aircraft. We'll start with going ahead and just going to one. We're going to go ahead and do three walls up, three walls down, and three trap doors to the side. So honestly, really simple. Can't get much easier than that. And the same thing's going to happen over here to this side as well. Again, really simplistic and really straightforward. And that is going to complete your props there for the aircraft. With that though, we're going to be going ahead and moving into our last final layers. So after you have that done for the stabilizer, you're going to go ahead and then set up your other stabilizer, the smaller ones here. We're going to go ahead and place down a wall that's going to go on this third trap door over behind that stone block one stone block up and then we want to go ahead and place down a light gray stainless pane and then a daylight detector on top turn that to night mode so it's going to look like that there 
We're also going to go ahead and take our light gray carpet on top of the stairs and the iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and place down light gray carpet all the way across here. This middle space here, we're going to place down one and two snow pieces, then one snow piece behind it, and then we're going to place down white carpet, and this is going to go all the way across here. Filling in the white carpet all the way across. Now, the last thing here for us to go ahead and do now is to go ahead and set up our cabling. So our cabling here, pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, two stone buttons on top of the, or two stone buttons here, and then one right here. We're going to go ahead and then go back from the button with two more barrier blocks. And we're going to place down two buttons here at the side. Then two barrier blocks back from those buttons. Um, or actually, sorry, three barrier blocks back. And then we're going to place down three stone buttons on the side of those blocks. We're going to go ahead and then place down one and two and three barrier blocks. And then three stone buttons on top of those three barrier blocks. We're going to go ahead and then go out to the side here. Stone block. Uh, or with a barrier block. And then we're going to place down a button on top of that. Another barrier block back and another button. Then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, barrier block here and a button on the side. And then one, two, three barrier blocks back. Three stone buttons here on the side of those. And then we're going to place down two barrier blocks. One, two, come off these blocks and two buttons on top. And that right there is going to be it for your cabling. So it should look something like this here. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side there. And you have your cabling that runs up to your vertical stabilizers. And the last thing we have to do here for the in-flight model before we go ahead and move into Lambda 1 is going to be this little banner insignia on the side of the aircraft. I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials and I'll show you guys how to make it. All right, guys, so going ahead and continuing on, we have our banners here. They're going to be making this National Star insignia. It's pretty straightforward to make. Um, you're going to need a blue banner, a white banner, uh, three white dye, five blue dye, one red dye, two light gray dye, and this banner pattern that's going to be the flower charge. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into our loom. We're going to place down our uh, white banner to... Or, yeah, our white banner to go ahead and get, or sorry, no, our blue banner to get started with, and then our white dye. We're going to go ahead and select the brick pattern, so you get this design here on your banner. We're going to go ahead and grab this, place it into our inventory, and remove our white dye. We're going to go ahead and then place our banner back into the loom, along with our light gray dye. We're going to do the line that goes horizontally across the top, like so, and a line that goes horizontally across the bottom to create this design here. And lastly, we'll place our red dye into the loom, and we're going to do the line that goes horizontally through the center, and that's going to create this banner design here. And that's the banner that's going to go on either sides of the stars. Now, for the star itself, pretty straightforward. We're going to place down a white banner in the loom with our white dye, or sorry, our blue dye. And we want to go ahead and begin with by going ahead and placing down a, a line that's going to go across, it's going to be blue dye, across like this. We're going to go ahead and remove that banner and the dye. We're going to go ahead and then place down our white dye into the loom and we want to go ahead and then do the flower pattern like this so you get a design that looks like that there for that we're going to grab that from our loom put it back in or put that back in the loom we're going to remove the white dye and we're not going to do this banner pattern anymore we're going to throw that to the side we're going to put our blue dye back into the banner we do a line that goes horizontally across the top so you get a design that looks like that there grab that loom or that banner put it back in the loom remove our blue dye put our white dye back in we're going to go ahead and do the diamond in the center of the banner then we're gonna place that banner back in the loom along with our blue dye. We're gonna do a line that goes horizontally across the bottom on this lower third. So, um, or actually, before we do that, uh, we wanna go and do a triangle. So we're gonna do the triangle that goes like this here. And it comes up from the bottom, grab that, put it back into our loom, and then we're gonna go and then do the line across the bottom. So it's gonna look just like that there. We're gonna go and grab this banner, and that is our blue star. Now we position these on this last and side wall here. You have the gray banner and then you have the, the star and then the other gray banner. So it's going to be the same thing over here on this side, like so. And you have that star insignia on the side of the aircraft. Really straightforward stuff and that is all done for that. Anyways, that right there is going to complete my in-flight in model here for the C2 Greyhound. At this point in time, we're going to be going ahead and moving on to landing gear. So if you are interested in building a landing version, that is what we're going to be going ahead and moving on to next. Going ahead and moving into our landed version of the aircraft, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom of our nose here. We're going to go and start off by deleting this iron trap door and we're going to place down the smooth quartz up downstairs in its place. We then want to delete this uh, quartz top slab, then this piston here, and then this quartz full block. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick full block above this quartz block, so right here, and then we're going to place down one and two quartz top subs, or not quartz top subs, but stone brick top subs across the top here. Coming off this stair, we're going to place down a stone brick wall, and on top of the stone brick wall, we're going to place down an anvil. After that, to the bottom here of the um, wall, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, and then a block of coal, 
to both sides of that stone brick top slab. We also want to go ahead and replace these quartz slabs here with quartz slabs downstairs. So that again will be done on both sides here and just replace those slabs like so. And then after we have that done, we're going to place down a light gray banner on both sides of those blocks of coal. So it's going to look like that there. And once you have uh, that done there, you're just going to go ahead and take your debug stick for Java players. And we can go ahead and modify these pistons by just going ahead and getting rid of that wood portion. Now, one quick thing I do want to go ahead and mention here is that if you are on Java, uh, you will want to make sure that you go ahead and, uh, or really just in general, all versions in general. We have this banner design here. It's a light gray banner with just a black border and a black horizontal line. This is what I used here for the wheels. Just kind of helps create a nice wheel design there. Um, but that's going to be the front wheels. And we're now move on to the rear wheels that are mounted on the engines. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our landing gear. We're going to be going ahead and now doing the landing gear on the rear or the kind of engines here. So for these, we're going to go ahead and start off by doing this piston and the skeleton skull combo. Um, or rather, yeah, skeleton skull and the piston. Those are both going to go. We're going to go then delete these white stained glass panes and these quartz blocks right here. And we're going to open up this section here for the engine. What we're going to do is we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick top slabs. And then we're going to go ahead and drop down from this space with a stone brick wall. So you have that empty space there. In that space, we're gonna place down an anvil. So it looks like that. On the bottom of the stone brick wall, we're gonna place down a stone brick top slab. And then we're gonna place down a polished black stone wall here and one right here with a wither skeleton skull on both ends. So it's gonna look just like that there for the wheel. Um, and actually, sorry, you want this going back. So you want this to actually be back one from the front. We have our two wither skeleton skulls on top. And this is going to be sitting. So if you look at it from like the side here, this is what it should look like. We then want to place down a quartz upside down stair that's going to come off of the anvil. So like that. And then we're going to place down two iron trap doors on the outside here. And we're going to go ahead and then close those with our debug stick. So close them flat. And you can also, you can have them keep there. So you have your iron trap doors here, and then you have your two here, and your debug stick to close them. So it's going to create those doors like that. And then the last thing here is going to be more of a Java feature. Um, but we're going to place down two blocks here. We're going to place down two levers on these blocks. Top one, we're going to go and flick down so they connect like so. We'll then take our debug stick here, left click till we get selected facing, and we're going to go and rotate these around so they come off the stone brick slab and the wall. It kind of helps add that extra detail there to the landing gear strut. And then again, for my Java players, we'll right click those pistons with our debug stick to go ahead and get rid of that wood portion and finish that design. Uh, but you'll take that same wheel design, copy it over to the air side, and once you have that done, uh, that is going to conclude my tutorial here for the landed and in-flight version for the C2A Greyhound. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear to social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Gary 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.